part of our nation's 65th independence anniversary celebration and as part of the heritage month of March. Mr. Speaker, I have chosen to speak on the Savannah region, its historical and contemporary contribution to the political and socio-economic development of our nation and what this nascent region offers in this heritage month of March. Mr. Speaker, on 18th April each year, the world celebrates International Day for Monuments and Sites, or World Heritage Day, to promote awareness about the diversity of cultural heritage. We in Ghana have, however, adopted the month of March, the month of our independence, as our heritage month, to reflect on our history, celebrate our culture and heritage, and promote tourism. Mr. Speaker, the Savannah region, as we all know, is one of the newest regions of our country, created by the Savannah Region Instrument 2019, CI-115, pursuant to Article 5.1 of our Constitution, with a land mass of 46,922 square kilometers. It is the largest region in the country in terms of land size, constituting one-fifth of the total land area of our country. There are over 13 different ethnic groups in the seven municipal and district assemblies of the Savannah region, namely Gondres, Chumurus, Nawulis, Basares, Vagles, Safobes, Mos, Dagabes, Gurunis, Sisales, Grusis, Cassines, Bimobes, Templimes, Hangers, Brifos, Emares, Pantres, Miwos, Batiges, Dagombes, Concombes, Akans, Hausa, Fulanis, and Batos. These groups have lived together peacefully over the years, intermarrying and building families of mixed ethnic groups. Mr. Speaker, though new, the contribution of indigenous of the Savannah region to the struggle for independence and the development of our nation post-independence post is not spoken about enough. When Achilo Samuel William Brimer father of the late Joseph Adam Brimer, or J. A. Brimer, as he's popularly called, had the opportunity to receive Western education as one of the first people of Northern Territories under the colonial government's policy of providing education to, quote, intelligent sons of chiefs, end quote, in the 1900s. He devoted his entire life to serving the nation in the then post and telegraph department. It was also through the tenacity and persistent advocacy of the lives of Emmanuel Adama Mahama, also popularly referred to as E.A. Mahama, another proud son of the region and father of a former president of the Republic, His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, that the colonial policy that compelled Northern students to wear smock while their colleagues from other parts of the colony could wear any clothes of their choice was abolished in the 1940s. The two prominent sons of the Savannah region continue to serve in the legislature of, of the new Ghana, championing the development of the North, particularly in the areas of education and the provision of water and roads. On 20th February 1958, for example, in reaction to a motion on education in Northern Ghana, J. Brahma said, and I quote, through what can the government wipe, wipe out poverty, ignorance, and disease, if not through education, end quote. Mr. Speaker, from the Second Republic, the lives of Chief Haruna Kebasebe, who served as Minister for Northern Region, and Professor Yakub Saka, a former Deputy Minister for Foreign Affairs in the Third Republic, played prominent roles in the development of our nation. In our contemporary Fourth Republican dispensation, sons and daughters of the region, such as His Excellency John Dramani Mahama, former President of the Republic, Honorable Alhaji Amadou Seydou, a six-time member of this august house and former and former deputy minister for works and housing honorable alexei de sofo also a former member of this house and deputy minister for roads and highways mr isa ketekeo former deputy minister for local government and rural development alhaji muhammad muniru limuna former minister for food and agriculture madame Utiko afisa jaba former minister for gender children and social protection Dr. Abu Sakara, one-time presidential candidate for the Convention People's Party. Alhaji MND Jawola, a former chief director of the Ministries of Finance and Health and former chairman of the Ghana Football Association. 
Madam Mercy Ewuntoma Aloba, celebrated and distinguished headmistress of Damango Senior High School and a host of others, played varied roles in the evolution of our democratic journey.